business chiefs at some of Australia's biggest companies were cleaned out in 2020. Some resigned. Others lost their jobs due to COVID-19. Mining, insurance, logistics, transport, media and gaming were all affected. You might think the pandemic caused most of these executive changes, but no. In many cases, it was poor decision making and bad judgment. The biggest fall from grace was Rio Tinto's chief executive, Jean-Sebastien Jacques. Under his watch, Rio blew up the Dukin Gorge in the Pilbara to expand an iron ore mine. Rio knew the 46,000-year-old site was of cultural significance to the Indigenous owners, but went ahead anyway. The fallout resulted in Jacques stepping down, along with his two top lieutenants. The airline industry was crushed by COVID restrictions. Virgin Australia quickly fell into administration, citing ballooning debts. CEO Paul Scurra led the company through the restructuring process, but was sacked by the new owners once it was rescued. Nine boss Hugh Marks announced his resignation after admitting he had been having a relationship with a work colleague. Australia Post Chief Executive Christine Holgate stepped down when it emerged she had given some of her staff Cartier watches as a reward for hard work. Her decision was lambasted by the Prime Minister in question time, making her position untenable. Borrell's chief Mike Kane, AMP chair David Murray and Crown Executive Chairman John Alexander all departed over company indiscretions. ASIC Chairman James Shipton has stood aside from his role while an inquiry investigates the near $120,000 he billed taxpayers to cover his tax affairs. The pandemic has tested all business leaders. Next year, the scrutiny will be even tougher. Executives won't be able to hide behind the pandemic as an excuse for poor performance. Edward Boyd, Sky News.